Okay, gang, so the lady to the left of the screen should look rather familiar because she was featured in the Kami cat fights on cat fights, cat fight on on campus video that I did where the black haired girl was talking about communism all positively and like, and she was like, oh, oh, no, it's crazy. But if you can gather that, that's something she does. Um, she actually became prominent when a couple of years ago, she took some graduation photos holding guns and she's a 2A advocate. So, you know, I mean, she has her opinion. And as we've seen, she goes out and she, you know, discusses this on college campuses. This is something that happens time and time again. Well, at the at the great Ohio State, uh, yeah, they apparently took exception to her presence, and well, they they went completely bonkers. Let's get into this. see him throwing things right and the thing that is really kind of like bugging me out is the blonde next to her who's just so happy and proud of herself my goodness Now y'all saw that, right? That little clip right there. She was trying to have the conversation that she that we saw her have with the commu with the with the communist chick on the on Rutgers campus. But it, like th it, these people these children, and I can't help but notice such a gigantic portion of them are females. Like, is, is anybody else picking that up? Because that's what I'm getting. There's a lot of females in this crowd. And, you know, like a bunch of simps who are more than happy to follow the vagina wherever it goes and do whatever it asks it to. Artist, right jesus and all she does is go oh black dude smiling in the red hoodie why why i think there's another one in the back over there stop like, this is so dumb who raised you people for real this young lady like like regardless of what you feel about her positions she has every right to hold them it's it, it's sort of like what i like to do on this channel where it's like hey if you feel differently that's what i have a comment section for and i like to have the back and forth and that's and there's nothing wrong with that but these people are just so they they are so wrapped up in their childishness that this is ultimately it's a tantrum. You are not present. I've been here in the face. Would you? Like, seriously, like, look at this lady right there. Like, would you? You seem, like, very well fed and uh, on your way to a great life of feminism. Like, <laughs> would you know oppression if it hits you in the face? I just did a video where these high school students got upset because the, um... Because the teacher had them, you know, simulating picking cotton and kicking their feet. And they were like, oh, my goodness, how dare. And it's like, yo, calm down. Like, uh, like maybe, maybe having all these females in college isn't the best thing now, is it? Because, my God, you're sitting here. Like, because, honestly, there's a lot of feminine energy. I know there's dudes in the crowd, but there's a lot of feminine feminine energy and feminine mentality that's driving this. Oh my god, did y'all see the rainbow of uh hair color? Hold on, let's go, let's go back for half a second. There it is. There it is. What I tell y'all, when, when when the hair is of an unnatural color, Mmm, steer clear, man. Seriously. And back to old girls' oppression points. I'm a black heterosexual man in this country and that's lived in the United States the entirety of my life since 1981. And you know what? Compared to people in Qatar, compared to Libya, yeah, something a lot of people don't like to talk about. No, I don't know what oppression is. 
I really don't. I know that there are there's prejudices. I know there are bigots. I know there are people who simply won't like me until they meet me because I'm pretty awesome. I, I, I identify as awesome. But for the most part, um, you know, like like when it comes to being oppressed and having, you know, the boot on my neck, it's it's not been what, you know, folks comparatively speaking to Qatar and, and Libya and the like it's nothing where they uh what to what they've um experienced so when it comes to that caucasian lady in the glasses screaming about oh do you know oppression sweetheart i sincerely doubt you know what know what oppression is let's keep going Did y'all see that? Like, you know, like, dude just gets in front of the, the the way of the camera. Like, wow, yo, these kids are ravenous. She actually calls for President Trump to start defunding universities like this. And you know what? I am actually with it. I, I've said this before. That we, if this is the type, if you're, if these people are being taught what to think and not how to think and not how to have adult, reasonable conversations, then why are you even in college? I coffee I'm on me. I dare you to push me again. I'm not punching. I dare you to push me again. I'm not pushing. Oh my god. You know what? She's a saint. <laughs> what a swung on her. Like you all just roll up on me. Ooh, she's kind of cute in the front there. But you don't just roll up and 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 do that that whole slit sibling. Oh, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Deal. Like, oh my goodness. This this is freaking sad. Notice it's all females, right? Like, notice it's all females. This is what's happened when, when we as a nation have allowed the feminine whims to just take over. And ladies, do not take this as a personal slight, okay? Because y'all, like, if you are of your right mind, you see the nonsense that's taking place right here. It, it, sweetheart, if you are of your right mind, you know that what these people are doing is wrong, particularly based on her work as somebody who go as a correspondent that goes out and talks to people at campuses. No violence, no extra, no, 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 no uh, aggressive energy or anything else like that. You know, if you are female of your right mind, you know that this is wrong. They got all these people sitting there splashing like all the waters on and stuff. And look at the overabundance of females. Look at the overabundance of females. You know what, Caitlin Bennett? I didn't give you uh, strokes before, but I'm giving you strokes after this. Because, well, I mean, it's figuratively speaking, my ranking system. Because this is just, comparatively speaking, shit, she's the hottest chick on that entire campus right now. Even a uh, little cutie uh, with, with, with the hair. <laughs> We're still throwing stuff. You need to back up. Joel, shut your window, Joel. These cops. Jesus, man. Like, come on, yo. This is what we're doing, America? Is this really what we're doing? This is disgusting. We're watching this happen. There's another one. <laughs> And that's the thing about cops, man. They've been completely defanged. I mean, look at what's taking place in um in New York right now with uh the with the overabundance of assaults and just complete disregard of the law. And I I don't know Ohio in spe specifically, but I think it, I think it might be a sanctuary state as well. <laughs> So this is ugly. This is ugly. Every single person there should be utterly ashamed of themselves. Ladies, y'all should just go make babies and get the hell out. Of it. Not all of you. If you did for STEM, right? <laughs> if you did for STEM, then cool. But if you did for some weak ass degree and you don't even know what the hell you want to do with the rest of your life, man, save the money. 
seriously parents pull your pull your kids man do a double check on these campuses and universities before you send them on out there because you'll come back with uh, a, a, a trans a trans racial gender individual alphabetical as uh the 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 peak the zenith of your legacy do you really want that <laughs> if, you, if you're of your right mind no no you do not but i do find this to be just distasteful for the most part there we go okay yeah 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 okay yeah so because uh miss bennett you have definitely skyrocketed up the um pu- the the pumps and strokes uh charge <laughs> because this this is bullshit it really is it never should have happened to her and I, the the fact that these people were so damn proud of themselves is scary Man, she got some really pretty eyes. My goodness, those shits are killer. I'm not even going to stunt. But either ways, guys, with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like it, toss it a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day, share it because sharing is caring and YouTube and bitch you and like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments, man? Like, like we've seen her, Um, like, even if this is your first video of mine, on this channel, we've used her content before, and she seems like a, like a reasonable young lady who, you know, wants to have conversation. Is she snarky? Is she a bit of an a-hole? Of course, but if it's, uh, they're not agreeing, but that's the thing about people who, A, want, are trying to be entertaining, but B, also don't agree with you, yeah, they're going to come across that way. Um, they, they really are, and regardless of how, if they're an a-hole or not, what the best bet is always to actually engage in the conversation. Okay, not sit here and throw a tantrum like these students at Ohio State did, and they should really be ashamed of themselves. But hey, you might be of that mindset. You might think, hey, no, there was absolutely, this was a completely reasonable response to a young lady showing up on campus. By all means, try to convince me in the comments. Until the next one.